Tariq is dangerous. He'll say or do anything it takes to get whatever he wants. Mr. Sachs, call your witness. It all comes down to episode 10, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be the trailer breakdown and I think we might have a Tommy sighting. Courtney Kemp, 50 Cent, deserved writer of the year because they interweave so many stories. They have taken the Marvel Cinematic Universe to the TV universe with 50 million plots in one story so that they can continue to have stories going on and on if they want to keep a series going. We didn't think we would ever feel some kind of way about Tariq after him being the damn devil last season, but it's very intriguing. And I would have to say that I think this season was better than Power Season 6. Leave me comments on what you think. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. Follow me on Instagram. Also, let me know what else you guys watch. One sentence, because we do reviews on several shows, and it seems like some of the shows we do, you guys don't watch. So let me know something you guys watch outside the minority realm so we can keep these reviews and these trailer breakdowns going. Let's finish watching the trailer and break it down piece by piece. The cops? I'll fix it. Kane's out of control. Fucking problem. And now he's the solution. D, something's up. I thought this would end many ways, but not like this. The government calls Tariq St. Patrick. In the very beginning, you see Tariq given that almost unibrow look at someone or something. I don't know what that means. I don't know where he's at, but leave me comments on where you think he's at and who he's looking at. Then we see Sharonda's most hated character in the history of power. She cannot stand Riley. Riley is basically telling Brayden that Tariq is dangerous, don't trust him. And I'm sure they got Brayden twisted right now because he knows Tariq has lied to him several times, but Tariq is also his supply to the game. Now, Brayden has no reason to be in the drug game. He's already rich, his parents are rich. Maybe he's, he enjoys this lifestyle, the way Tommy enjoyed it, and he's gonna do his thing. Then we see this judge, and they've highlighted on this judge several times. Now, I don't know if it's because she had a, a feeling that Sachs and Meth McClain was teaming up, but we see her in the courtroom. We see Cooper Sachs standing up. We see Tasha and Tariq is sitting back there in the stand. I mean, back there in the courtroom. And we know that Cooper Sachs is doing, gonna try to call him to the stand. Um, so it's a matter of what is the judge thinking? Because somehow or another, I think power is gonna involve this judge. They've shown her too much. We see old Eddie Winslow Bellamy, who is not Bill Bellamy's son, standing there talking to Professor Carey, period. That's her name. She's not Scary Carey. She's not Conjugal Carey. She's not Lock and Key Carey, meaning that every time somebody's got a lock or a door, she give up them draws. She is trying to help this boy get out of whatever trouble he's in. She's saying, I'm going to go to the authorities, and you got to trust me. So in the beginning, we were saying that Zeke is in too deep. Now it's starting to feel like Carrie is in too deep. And we know why, because she just got threatened by monotone Monet, who shows no emotion except for when she's upset. And then we see Carrie walking out of her, getting ready to walk, I guess, into her office. And we see old plagiarism Jabari. Lord have mercy. My wife hate this guy. And he is going to have a huge storyline next season. Because he knows Tariq is into the drug game. He knows about Zeke's family. And he knows that Carrie is in too deep. And when he finds out that Carrie is getting smashed by Zeke, he's going to do something. And then we see Tariq looking at Diana, who has had love for Tariq the whole season. Her heart is in this boy. And somehow, someway, I think she's going to intervene and Tariq's business with Effie. Leave me your comments on what you think. And then we see Kane, as you can hear Diana talking about he's dangerous, and you see Kane flipping over a bed. I wonder where he's at. 
this his new crib or is this that hideout with him and little guap we see monet talking to daddy tahada basically talking about kane's out of control but then daddy tahada says that's a good thing maybe you use that now do you think that she has pretty much revealed to daddy tahada that rico came from dc or connecticut or wherever the hell his drug business is at and tried to kill them and now Daddy Tejada is basically saying, look, use Kane. Now, is Monet going to find out that Kane killed her other lover, old Rico Suave? Does Daddy Tejada know about that? I guess we'll find out some of that later on. And then we see somebody holding some, somebody with some gloves on, holding Officer Rico Suave's police badge. And then we cut to a scene where Kane is out in the woods somewhere with those gloves on. It's probably Kane just taking care of the body from old Officer Rico Suave. I guess he's about to burn the body. It looks like he's in a damn swamp somewhere with the outfit he's wearing. But, you know, Kane been wearing these crazy-ass outfits the whole entire season. Leave me comments on what you think he's out there in the jungle doing. Then they cut to a scene where Diana... And Monet are hopping into a car in a rush to go somewhere. And it looks like the car is white. If you zoom in on I guess that's the door getting ready to close. Now, here's the most compelling scene of this trailer. The speculation is this is Tommy. Am I 100% sure about that? No. But what I am 100% sure about is that's definitely not Diana and Monet. Because Diana and Monet... It would be two people in the car. There's only one person driving this car. And the speculation is that this is Tommy. And then the very next scene, you see the police rolling up on this car. Now, they could be coming to get Tommy to summons him in the court. Because later on in this trailer, you're going to see a lot of drop jaws at somebody they invite to court. So leave me comments if you think this is Tommy. We see Tasha sitting on a witness stand. It looks like she's looking at the judge with that butterface look. They cut to Tariq looking at somebody. Then we see Melf McLean almost looking like he's happy. So I wonder what happened. We see old Stephen Ottman from the DNC. He's got to be looking at Cooper Sacks like, man, what in the hell are you doing? And then that look on Cooper Sacks' face. There's Cooper Sacks. Tariq is already on the witness stand. This right here is more fodder. That is Tommy walking through that courtroom door. Maybe somebody found Tommy and arrested him and bring him into court. Ladies and gentlemen, we've only seen Tommy in court one time when he was arrested and went to jail. So maybe the next clip, Tamika has something to do with getting Tommy in there. We see Meth McClain smiling. Maybe Meth McClain had something to do with it. But ladies and gentlemen, leave me your comments if you think that that is Tommy popping up in the courtroom. And then we see Cooper Sacks somewhere in the room alone talking to someone. Maybe this is when they get Tommy. Maybe this is um, him outside talking to someone, but he looks happy. And how often do we ever see old Nancy, punk-ass Cooper Sacks, happy about anything? And then we get on the witness stand and Tariq's got that smug look and... Who knows why Tariq has a smug look. He thinks he's cunning. He's proven to be somewhat cunning, but he's also proven to be stupid at times this series. And that was the last piece of the clip. So, ladies and gentlemen, it all goes down this coming Sunday, episode 10. I think they've done a very, very good job of making this thing compelling. And are they going to come back this summer? Because Raising Canaan is also going to come out this summer. And you're going to have several... Power series shows coming out real soon that look like they're going to be running simultaneously. But that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, subscribe. Leave me all your comments on what you expect to happen if you think that's Tommy in that BMW. And also be sure to follow me on Instagram and let me know what else you guys watch so that we can do reviews on some of your favorite shows and keep this thing going until the next great show comes out that we've been following. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.